Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we've been putting together some little horror effects for you with the uh, free version of Elementor here. Really easy to do. And today we're going to do a simple image swap with Link. And when you click on it, it links to wherever you want it to link to. I've just got it linking to another page on the site there. So let's get started. Like I say, we're using the free version of Elementor to do this today. So I'm going to edit with Elementor. For anybody that doesn't know, Elementor is a fantastic free page builder. And there's also a pro version that gives you some really really useful modules these are all the free ones you got some more down below with the pro you get another whole load of fantastic really usable modules or I think they call them widgets with Elementor and of course you've got more general ones down here but the free we've done a series on building a whole e-commerce site with the free and uh, you can download the free or the pro from my link below the video so let's get started first thing I'm gonna do is grab an image so here we are basic image and if you don't have this grid here just click on the little matrix up here it'll bring it up for you simply drag the image to where you want it now this will work fine full screen like that or full width like that but I'm going to make mine into two I'm also going to use a third column as a divider so let's do that first little dark tab here is for the actual column that it's sitting in little blue tab is for the widget itself the image widget so I'm gonna add a new column by right clicking on this add a new column and I'm gonna do exactly the same again because so I'm just using this middle one for a buffer so I'm gonna just drag this across uh, up to about 48 percent something like that 48.1 is close enough and we'll make this similar size there we are 48.1 great now the way this hover effect is going to work today we've got our widget the blue one so that's going to have an image in it and we've also got our column the dark one which I'm going to give an image background and that way we can fade one to the other so firstly let's grab the image that we want with the image module And I guess I'll use the same picture. There we go. Now let's go into our column and we're going to give our column an image background also. Dark tab, column. We'll go, as you can see, it says column up here. We'll go over to style, background type, slideshow. Now we're only using one image, so that'll be a simple image background rather than a slideshow. And let's put this little fella in the background just like we did before. Now one thing you want to remember, let's just plop that in there, you won't see it much of it anyway because it's behind this one. The one on top, the image in the widget, will maintain its aspect ratio. The one in the column behind is just going to fill to fit the column size. So just bear that in mind. You can change the way it displays slightly with the display options background size and background position here okay now when I hover over you might notice the widget the blue one right here it's got a little gap between the outside of it and the column it's sitting in I don't want that so again in column let's go to advanced simply put zero in the padding you've got that checked so it'll all, it'll do all four at once for you there we go so it's now filling out the same size as the column okay well now let's click out of our column back onto our widget here and we'll make it disappear we're in our widget let's go to style our image widget let's roll down a little bit and you'll see opacity now opacity is see-throughness or transparency so let's have a look we've got normal that's when our mouse is not on it let's make it fully visible and we've got hover obviously that's when your mouse is on it 
let's make that completely invisible where it is right now zero okay or 0 0.1 is close enough and the time it takes to do it I like to have this fairly slow so I'm going to drag mine up to just over a second or thereabouts the slower it is the more dramatic it is I feel but that's entirely up to you great so we set the hover state as you can see it disappears when we hover over it how easy was that now let's add a link so if we go back up to our content again down the bottom you're going to see a link and you can link it to a media file which will basically pop it out an image of the uh, a larger image of the image you've got there or whatever media file you connect to or a custom URL that's what I'm going to use today I'm just going to go to my site I'm going to grab a link from up here copy link address and we'll go back and plop it in there now if you're linking to an external site something that's not on your website hit the little cog there and I suggest you open it in a new window that way your site stays open for your visitors so hopefully we should be good to go let's update and see what we've got now let's preview our changes go down to where we want to view that's the first one I did here we go and there we go it's sort of morphing from one to the other or fading from one to the other and then when you, you can click on it and go to the portfolio page I think it was and if you want it the opposite round very easy to do also let's go back in there just going to duplicate this module the little blue image module or widget right click duplicate now it's made that crazy big because we got two of them in there which is making that column twice as long and I'm just left clicking dragging and releasing to drop it over here now again we want to go into our column get rid of that padding around the top there and also put that image or whatever image you want to put in the background there so we're in the column we'll go to style background again we'll hit the slide slow and slideshow and put a single image in there and I guess I'll use that same little fella again it's fine now let's flip it around the other way this time let's have it with this image first and then when we hover on we'll have this one up here and that couldn't be easier either before we do that I've got to get rid of that padding up there so we're still in the column advanced padding hit the zero there we go that's filled it out now if we go back into our image widget we just want to flip it around the other way so let's go to style and on normal this time we're going to have it at zero or 0 0.1 and on hover we're going to have it fully visible on one and again translation transition duration is already set and our links already in there from the previous one unless you want to link it to somewhere else just change your link right there and we're good to go roll on down that's the first set I got it the other way around here that's fine there's our first one going from green to multicolored parrot or whatever it is I think it's a parrot and other one going from multicolored to green how easy was that and of course when you click on it, it takes you to wherever it is your link is so there you have it there's how to do a simple image hover effect using the free version of Elementor and that's a nice little feature people are mousing around your site they roll over something like that that's going to get their eyeballs on it pretty quick in our next video we'll do a similar thing but we'll, we'll change image and we'll also have some text or something on top so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel 
Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.